Saving project settings in Burp Suite can be helpful, especially if you have custom settings. So we'll do a demo here using a common setting, the proxy port. So I'm gonna start Burp Suite, and I'm just gonna use the Burp defaults, which is the default configuration. So I'll start Burp Suite, and we're gonna check the port that it's listening on. So we go to proxy and options, and we see that the port 8080 is set there by default. And in my case, because some other piece of software is using that port, the proxy service isn't running, and that's causing an issue. Now I can easily fix that by picking a different port. So we'll pick 8088. Nothing special about the number 8088, it's just an example. However, if I close Burp Suite and start it again with the default options, then that setting is not going to be saved. So let's go start Burp Suite again, choosing the default option whenever the screen comes up. And we'll start the software running. So when Burp Suite starts, we go to proxy options and take a look at the port. We'll notice that it's back to 8080. So this time, let's set the port where we want it. And we're going to go to Project and Project Settings and Save Project Settings. And here we're going to save the project settings in a folder. And we're going to call these the test settings. So we'll save that and close Burp. Now we'll open Burp one more time. And when the option comes up, to load the configuration file. We're gonna say load from configuration file, choose the file, and we're gonna choose our test file. Click open and start Burp. So now Burp will read those settings from that project configuration file. If we go to proxy and options, we'll notice that Burp used the settings that we wanted and the service is automatically started and running on the port that we chose.